Uh, I'm Mark Ogilvy, I'm the design director for RuneScape and I'm looking forward to uh, a nice friendly bit of competition with the, comp with the awards that are going on. I'm Phil Mansell, I'm the uh, executive producer on RuneScape. I'm um, looking forward to seeing a load of awesome games, uh, seeing good British developers getting uh, celebrated. Cool. Uh, I'm Mark Gerhard, I'm the CEO of Jagex and uh, looking forward to having a good night with the team. Brilliant. Now, ja uh, Jagex and RuneScape has been around for what feels like ages, but you just keep refreshing and you keep getting those views and those hits and those players. What do you think has made it so successful? I think it is that constant change, making sure that we're listening to our players, we're coming out with cool ideas ourselves and kind of meshing those two things together. So, uh, you know, every week we've got something cool the players like, and then every few years a massive change as well to keep it really fresh. Innovation, evolution, yeah. bit of hard work in between. <laughs> it tends to work out okay. I think we've still got that old school feel as a development company as well, you know. We don't take ourselves too seriously. We use that kind of old school British storytelling style, you know, and it keeps the game fresh, it keeps the game exciting. We, you know, we're always trying new ideas as well. We never let the product get stale. Always keep the players on their toes. That's my motto. Brilliant. Uh, your game seems to attract lots of the younger players. Uh, I remember being at, at school and everyone playing it at the time. Uh, do you see that as a challenge uh, or a risk, or do you, you, you sort of encourage it? I think they're kind of growing up with the us, right? It's like it, it started young, but the cohorts kind of aged, and you know, it's become a where perhaps it could have been teens or early teens. You know, perhaps 10 years ago, I think it's now mid-teens and early 20s, and just quite an interesting, you know, it's still the same crowd, it's still their uh, place to go to be entertained. Yeah, I think quite often it's the younger players that are the most vocal with the game, but actually we attract a huge, wide audience, you know. It's amazing the amount of uh, mums and dads that started playing the game because their kids kind of looked at it and their kids have grown up on to other products but it's there they're still there they're still playing the game and I think again that kind of quintessentially British way of, of designing games and the style of the product that we put out there makes it very attractive to all sorts of players brilliant and what do you think excites you about what's coming in the next generation of consoles or where just the direction online games are going oh goodness I, I think it's still there's so much more to play for it's it's all open uh, we're very lucky in that uh, we build our own technology. We have a fantastic community which we can uh, we can publish to. So we kind of don't really have any boundaries. That's incredibly exciting for uh, for you know coming up with new ideas and uh, uh, new things within the game. So yeah, I think it's all open. It's all to play for. Yeah, I mean for me, I think it's it's less about the power of the next console and the fact that they're now now connected by default, and it's a kind of online ecosystem and you know, cross-platform connectivity. That's interesting for us because it's. You know, you should be able to take RuneScape anywhere and everywhere you go. Uh, and that's kind of the next chapter, I think, for us. Is also, I think it's important to recognize the rest of the world's taking us seriously as an industry now as well, you know. That other people are interested in the kind of things that we're doing. And the creativity within the games industry is, is getting a lot of attention from other industries as well. You can see people moving away from the film industry and coming into the games industry. And that makes everything very exciting, you know. When the technology, the, the, the kind of cufflinks that we have, the no, well, the, 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 the boundaries that we have are all getting taken away, you know. They, they, we, those restrictions we're losing, and it allows us to do amazing things with our creativity. That, that's what's fascinating to me. And just quickly, if you have a bit of downtime, what game do you turn to, not your own? Ah, uh, crap. Uh... <laughs>